Brian, thanks. The hot weather has hospitals on alert tonight. For the elderly and people without air conditioning, a week like this can be dangerous. NBC Connecticut's Ben Sasenko continues our team coverage in Hartford. So far tonight, there have already been five cases here at the emergency room at St. Francis Hospital in Hartford of people dealing with heat-related illness. I need a AC because it's too hot. Al Cabrera made sure he didn't spend another day at home burning up. He bought his family an air conditioner, and he wasn't alone. The AC units at Lowe's in Newington were flying off the shelves Monday night. It's uh, probably about time I replaced the unit I got. The summer sizzle that we are all feeling can be bad for your health. Dr. John Patini is an ER doctor at St. Francis Hospital who has already treated several people sick from the heat. They range from just sort of feeling generally fatigued and nauseous um, to uh, the last patient I treated was a, a fellow who got about the 14th hole on the golf course and, and fainted, and, and that's not uncommon in this kind of heat that we're experiencing now. Dr. Patini says that while people don't have to remain indoors during the heat wave, they shouldn't overdo it. He says if you start feeling sick, it's time to go into the shade to cool off, and most importantly, drink water. My advice to um, generally people is that even if you don't feel thirsty, you should drink, you should avoid carbonated beverages and really stick to either water or drinks that are fortified with electrolytes. While it's okay to take your kids outside to play in the splash park or take in a baseball game, Dr. Patini says just keep an eye to make sure they're drinking too. And Dr. Patini says with tomorrow's temperatures expected to be even hotter, he expects to see more people in the emergency room. In Hartford, Ben Sisenko, NBC Connecticut News. Governor Rell has